To me, Lake Tahoe is like no other place on earth. It still has these cobalt blue waters. It's surrounded by mountains. To lose it and to turn it into any other lake would be a real tragedy. But that tragedy is unfolding before Jeffrey Schlatto's very eyes. July 28, 2006, we recorded the warmest surface temperatures uh, we'd ever measured at Lake Tahoe, and that was 78 degrees Fahrenheit. The climate is changing, and that's affecting Tahoe. According to a study led by Schlatto and fellow scientists like Charles Goldman. The health of the lake is certainly extremely fragile, and it's, it's one of the reasons we've devoted so much effort to it over the years. Surface temperatures have risen five degrees since 1999, but that's not all. We've seen a decrease in, in snow relative to rain. More rain melts Sierra snowpack and floods heavily into Lake Tahoe. So that potential doubling of the flow rate has a tremendous impact on the mass of, of fine sediment and nutrients washed into the lake. Tahoe's legendary clarity is fading. The bottom, once visible in 102 feet of water, is now only visible in about 74. Seeking light, plankton rose to shallower depths. This could impact the entire food chain. As it is, invasive fish are already preying on native fish. And so when we analyze the fish, when we look at their stomach contents, what they're eating are the young of the natives. But there is hope. Tahoe has been under study for more than 40 years. What we have at Tahoe is a long record that shows us what the lake was doing, how it was varying year to year before the impacts of climate change really started to be noticeable. Accurate long-term data are a key weapon against the environmental impact of climate change. By comparing what's happening now, we can try to tease out the differences between what's due to climate change and what's due to just the, the usual interannual variability that any natural system will exhibit. Lake Tahoe is affected by development, invasive fish and plants, and other stresses. And with the data, it is now possible to isolate those related to climate change. Lake Tahoe is an icon in, in the United States and around the world. And for that reason, we have to do everything we can to try to preserve it in the face of all these stresses. For Assignment Earth, I'm Gary Stryker.